this as a joke? Watch this segment. If I didn't think this was important, I would not lead my Wednesday show with it. This is one of this is like the halfway point of the week where we want to get rocking and rolling and punching before the weekend. That's how important this segment is. Listen to Mark Morano talk about exactly this and what's coming. They're talking about it. This will happen if we lose. Take a look. To address the current situation, this is all troubling, but if the president uh, declares a climate emergency, what impact does that have? Well, I mean, this is, this is, the, this is the serious story of the today. NBC News has reported that if Joe Biden declares a national climate emergency, he would have COVID-like powers under that emergency. And they also compared the emergency powers to the 9-11 emergency powers. The Center for Biological Diversity has estimated Joe Biden would get about 130 wartime-like powers by which to bypass democracy and impose the Green New Deal on the, on the America. You think this is a joke? Watch this segment. If I didn't think this was important, I would not lead my Wednesday show with it. This is one of this is like the halfway point of the week where we want to get rocking and rolling and punching before the weekend. That's how important this segment is. Listen to Mark Morano talk about exactly this and what's coming. They're talking about it. This will happen if we lose. Take a look. To address the current situation, this is all troubling. But if the president uh, declares a climate emergency, what impact does that have? Well, I mean, this is this is the this is the serious story of the today. NBC News has reported that if Joe Biden declares a national climate emergency, he would have covid like powers under that emergency. And they also compared the emergency powers to the 9-11 emergency powers. The Center for Biological Diversity has estimated Joe Biden would get about 130 wartime like powers by which to bypass democracy and impose the Green New Deal on the on the America. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 19, verse four. And the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel Lord and a fierce king shall rule over them, saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts. Koholayim la, Abanawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekat, Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf, sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 4. And the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel lord, and a fierce king shall rule over them, saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts. And that's what we see, man. You see the cruel, the wicked of the earth ruling, uh, ruling in unrighteousness bringing forth wicked decrees okay uh, uh having a tyrant type spirit okay basically going to make you bend the knee okay that illusion that delusion of liberty of freedom of do as you want do as you please is literally being taken away from you right now the constitution that you hold so dear and near to your hearts doesn't exist anymore. Again, it's it's a it's a it's an illusion that you think you have that to run to. Okay, all the laws, all the uh, you know uh, the process of the of the judicial system and the Congress, the government, and the word, that word government goes into mind control. Everything is being restructured. Everything is being, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Revised. Okay, everything is literally being revised to the liking of the 1%, which is the elite. Okay, the again, the liberty, the freedoms that you have had, everything that you have had comfortable in this society, in this captivity, is transitioning into <laughs> your mourning and your weeping. Okay, because the, uh, Biden, these presidents are nothing but puppets. The people that run society and call the shots are in the shadows, man. Okay, and you and you Israelites that want to uplift this society and want to be equal and be uh, accepted, you're in for a rude awakening. But let's continue, okay? Because the Lord is gonna ha the, the Lord is gonna show you that these people ha that have been ruling, they're cruel. And they're very fierce 
and very uh, again a tyrant okay again no sympathy no compassion no uh 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 uh, uh, uh care for your 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 mental state your mental your mental standards or your uh, uh physical man they don't give a damn about you okay let's jump to jeremiah chapter 13 and let's read verse 23 can the egyptian change his skin or the leopard his spots then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil so again as i've said in various lessons these people are custom made established it's in their dna to push and produce and bring forth evil okay they cannot uh, uh uh bring forth righteousness and if they do righteousness they do it unwillingly and if they do it they do it for an agenda okay to to uh to make you feel relaxed comfortable and then they hit you hard with the true uh 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 the true matter that they want to be uh 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 uh, uh the, the slacky the true matter that wants to be brought forth man according to their plan man okay so again man the, the time's about to get very very worse man because you you israelites that have trusted in your oppressor to save you okay you trust them in the same nation that ha that has oppressed you and continue to oppress you by their laws by their judicial system by their um you know the all types of customs that they have brought forth to make sure that you don't elevate that you don't gain that you don't uh, uh get any type of uh success in this captivity man you think these same people are going to just wake up one morning and have a change of heart and actually save you and be your hero let me read this again jeremiah 13 verse 23 can the egyptian change his skin or the leopard his spots then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil look at their history look at their background check okay you know when you go uh, apply for a plantation uh, uh position most of them do a background check so look at their background checks look at their history it shows who they are they're not going to change the lord has made them for this position and guess what they're doing a hell of a job and you're going to you're going to find out uh, 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 very soon who your enemy is let's jump back to isaiah and let's go to verse it's like isaiah chapter 10 and let's read verse 1 woe unto them which woe means destruction, death, judgment. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. And what are, what are these decrees? You know, laws, legislations. If I'm saying it right, I'm probably not, <laughs> but forgive me. You know, laws, legislations, okay, uh, agendas, all types of stuff. And that, that pen is a weapon too, okay? That pen is a weapon too, all right? Goes along with their tongue and their thought process. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees that write grievousness which they have prescribed and again it's it's all about that order out of chaos so they can get forth and closer to that real agenda okay and you know just like this guy because I, I took out a um the clip where it says you know the uh the two the, the issue in 2020 was just the beginning which it is it, it, it was a it was a test run to test out the stress and to test out the uh, the reaction of you Babylonians, you Americans, man, okay? And they have been, uh, since then, and matter of fact, Salaki, it was way before then, they have been pre prescribing uh, grievous decrees to bring forth in these times uh, for certain matters that they have constructed themselves, okay? Everything that's being brought forth with these bio-warfares and everything that we see, you know, these... Uh, 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 these wars being funded by by Babylon America and these elites okay because there's also a, a, a profit a money gain and amongst other things too man because you have certain uh, uh, I think it's one company that's involved in all I can't remember the name of the company offhand and I'm pretty sure a brother knows it but um yeah man they write these wicked wicked uh, uh, and grievous uh, decrees to make sure that you, uh, 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 you feel uh, uh, that the only way for you to um, have some type of relief and comfort is by submitting to them. But let's continue, okay? But it's all it's all going to fall through. And, and again, you people, man, you people have chosen who you want to uh, 
who you want to be beside and who you want to um acknowledge as your uh saviors and as your um your leaders man okay and that's why the lord is going to put you in the hands of these people and let these people terrorize you and and uh, uh judge you man and bring forth all types of mayhem chaos and oppression and vexation man okay so this is the book of sirach uh, chapter 13 and i'm gonna start off at verse 16 all flesh consorteth according to his kind so you people in america you cleave and run to you know these uh, ref, uh right and left wings which is the democrat and the uh, republican which is on the same goddamn bird okay behind closed these behind closed doors these people are are focused on the same agenda but they give you a, a strong delusion you know in the in the public on the television and amongst other things that they're uh, against one another you know, they, they give you these debates, these feuds, all this bullshit to make you uh, pick a side when actually they all have the same agenda. They all have the same mind. OK, but you people run to these people and you cleave to them because you have the same mind as them. You look at these people as your leaders, as your king, OK, as royalty. All flesh can sort of according to his kind. And a man will cleave to his like. So you cleave to wickedness, man. You people cleave to wickedness because you're wicked. And you have cleaved to the customs of the heathen. You Israelites, man. Mainly you Israelites, man. I, I, I literally just saw a video of a nigga talking about Donald Donald Trump as his president with a with a fucking mega hat on. With a mega hat on. With with, with um that that um remedial bitch Vicky. If I'm saying it, if I, I, I believe that's her name. And, you know, Lord willing, I'll do a lesson on that very soon. Okay, it just shows you how our people, you know, seek seek uh, uh, acceptance and love and equality from their oppressor, man. Again, man, this man was made to bring hell upon you Israelites, not to bring forth salvation, man. Verse 17, what fellowship have the wolf with the lamb? Okay, so what fellowship have the wolf, a.k.a. Esau, with the lamb, you Israelites, man? When you Israelites have literally taken the, the, the position, the customs, the mindset, the characteristics of the oppressor, man. You are of your father the devil, man. That's why you're going to get the same judgment that your father's give, that your father's going to be given, man. The Lord's not going to uh, 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 give you comfort and salvation and protection, man. Okay, what fellowship have the wolf with the lamb, so the sinner with the godly, man. And y'all people have cleaved on to the sinner, the ungodly, the unrighteous, the wicked, the abomination of the earth, man, the cancer that must be cleansed and will be cleansed in the very near future, man. Okay, well, how about Shem Yahweh is already at work making these things occur, making these things happen, man. Okay, period, man. But let's continue. I got a couple more scriptures and we'll close. I'm not going to be too long on this. Let's jump back to the book of Isaiah. Because again, y'all, y'all, y'all go to uh to the leaders of Babylon for for answers and for comfort and for um uh for for your issues to be to be resolved, man. Okay, and I'm talking to you Israelites, man. You're not talking to you fucking Edomites. I'm talking to you Israelites in, in every single lesson, and mainly in this lesson too, man. Okay, because y'all y'all cleave on to you know your oppressor, the president. You know, the, the Congress, the government, all that, man. Y'all cleave on to them for answers, comfort, and to resolve all matters, man. When you should be cleaving to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, and I'm going to start off with verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that take of counsel, but not of me. Okay, you take counsel of these red silverbacks, these thin-lipped savage beasts. You run to them and get counsel from the uh, uh, from from the wicked, man. What's their counsel is is again wicked, evil, unrighteous, abominable, completely vain in the dark, which leads you to your demise and your destruction, man. And that cover with a covering, okay? Because you cover you covering yourself with with their philosophies, their way. You're drinking that wine of Babylon and you're you're drunken, you're staggering, you're stumbling, man. You're literally stumbling to fall into that pit to be judged, man. And that judgment's going to be brutal. It's going to be harsh, man. Okay? The Lord's going to turn these red silverbacks up. And he's going to show you what they're really about, man. 
He's he's gonna he's gonna uh, take those glasses, those those blindfolds that veil off your eyes to see to let you see who your enemy is and to let you and let, to let you know and see that they don't give a fuck about you. Okay, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin because you're denouncing the heavenly Father and you're acknowledging and reversing. Okay, again, you're acknowledging. And giving reverence to your oppressor, to your slave master. Verse 2, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. If Pharaoh, please help us. We need help. We need guidance. We need answers. Okay, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of that. Okay, and I remember back then, uh, maybe uh, uh, last year or something like that, maybe the year before, I did a video with you had this crispy black ass nigga crying, talking about I ain't ate today, I ain't ate today, Joe, I ain't ate. I had to put gas in my car, Joe. What's going on, Joe? You niggas, man. It's just getting worse. It's way, it's way be, uh, 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 it's way above and beyond in Stockholm syndrome with you niggas, man. Okay, and that's why this place is gonna be your downfall. The same people you run to for comfort, answers, and to resolve your matters is going to be the same people that's going to sh destroy you, man. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt, in verse 3, is going to speak on what I just said. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion, man. So the Lord is going to put you to shame by trusting in these people and he's going to bring that confusion upon you like what? I, I vote, I pay my taxes, I do this, I do that. I serve you, massa. And that's going to be your demise, your destruction, man. Okay? Let's close out. Like I said, I don't want this to be too long. Just get straight to the points. Okay? And then that, that day is going to come when all those uh, draconian measures is going to be uh, uh, established and activated. Again, the day is going to come when the draconian measures are going to be established and activated on you niggas. Okay, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native and, Native and Seminole Indians, man. And the Lord is not going to answer you. He's not going to be there for you. You're going to you're going to just have to you know uh, uh, suck it up and take your judgment. Proverbs chapter one, starting off at verse twenty six. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. So when you when you're going to be you know begging and pleading and crying out to the Lord to help you, He's going to be laughing at you, okay? Because He's going to be bringing that calamity and that fear upon you, man. Because the Lord controls everything, man. Everything. Matter of fact, I'm going to prove that. I'm going to grab a scripture on that real quick. I'm going to grab a scripture on that. Uh, bear with me. And that's going to be the book of Psalms 105, verse 7. He is Yahweh, our power. His judgments are all... It's like his judgments are in all the earth again psalms 105 verse 7 he is yahweh our power his judgments are in all the earth so what's the lord that's going to be bringing these judgments this affliction this hell upon you man okay so proverbs chapter 1 verse 26 i will also laugh at your calamity i will mock when your fear cometh when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. So it's going to be intense. It's going to be something that you will not be able to bear because you mocked and you disrespected the Lord and you cleaved on to your goddamn oppressor, man, instead of seeking him. You cleaved on to the strength of Pharaoh, which is no strength. Because the Lord's controlling the show, man. It's chess, not checkers, nigga. Okay? As a whirlwind, when distress and anguish, so when you distress and then you anguish, you hungry. You're just going through it, man. You just it seems like you just can't win. Hey, man, it's judgment. And anguish cometh upon you. Then shall they call upon me. Oh, man, JC, oh, God, oh, Lord, help me. But I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Okay? And it's going to be too late because you put your trust, your belief, your faith, and you embrace 
this captivity instead of embracing Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai and taking heed to his prophets, man. And that's why, again, these draconian measures will and shall be established and activated and brought to the forefront. And then you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians, you're going to be out here crying like bitches. Okay, you, you mighty tough niggas and you bad bitches are going to be put back in your rightful position and your rightful mindset. And by then it's going to be too late. It's going to be all out judgment. Okay, because even, even when you submit to Esau and, and take that C-hip, which is the M-A-R-K, it's a wrap. So I don't want to rock this out, man. I hope and I pray that this is edifying, uplifting, and informative to the true, sincere Aki and Wa Akwaf. So with that, I'm just going to say, Ko Hulayim La, Abanawa Yahawa Bahashim Yahawa Shai, Bahashim Rakat Kwadash, Wathawada, Yahawa Bahashim Yahawa Shai, Bahashim Rakat Kwadash, for putting the spirit on me, my elder apostles, elder bishops, elders, brothers on down, for doing these epistles to enlighten you, to inform you, to edify you, and uplift you to the power and spirit and words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. May the blessing, election, and protection be upon you and your household. Out of one rataza into the next one. So with that, I'm just gonna say, Shalom.